on the line, Melissa Giuliano. Good morning, Miss J. How are you? Good, Dave. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for coming on board. Uh, is anybody having a better school year than you in terms of moms? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't Let, think let's so. just give give the folks a little bit of background. Uh, your daughter Allie is uh, the, the coach at Atlantic City High School field hockey. She's just led the uh, the Vikings to their second straight playoff appearance. Uh, your son Mike, kicker for Mainland Regional Football Team, set the Cal record for field goals in a season, and he's also one of the swimmers on the uh, Mainland Boys Swim Team. That's off to a seven and zero start, and uh, perhaps the the most uh, the, the the least known, I should say, member of the Giuliano family, Caitlin, just saved somebody's life recently. So uh, tell us about that story. What, what a wild story. I guess she's on a plane heading back to L.A. And, and uh, how did that all come down where you got that call? Well, I actually had received a text that said that she had gotten a round of applause. And we thought, well, that's weird. You're flying. How are you sending a text? <laughs> And we call, and then she proceeded to tell us that she had made an emergency landing. And, and of course, you're as a parent, like, oh my God, where are you? What you know? What happened? And she said, well, it was a medical emergency, and that they had landed in Chicago, and that she had helped a, a girl by administering her nursing skills, and basically, you know, kept the girl alive until they could get on the ground and she could be treated a little bit further with medical attention at a hospital. What was your reaction to that? I mean, that had been crazy to hear. It was, it was actually a group chat with the family and, you know, we, she was giving us little one line bits of information and we were (laughs) questioning. And as the story developed, uh, I guess I, it it brought tears to my eyes, really that had saved the life of another child. It was pretty amazing. Give us a little bit of background yeah. on, on Caitlin. I know a lot of people here uh, around here in, in terms of the sports scene are familiar with Allie's work with uh, Atlantic City Field Hockey. They're familiar with, with Mike's career as a football uh, player and swimmer. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Caitlin. I don't think anybody really knows too much about her. Well, Caitlin, she attended Mainland as well, and she she ran cross-country all four years, so I've <laughs> done a little bit of every sport. <laughs> she was a a cross country captain when she was a senior. Um, she she did very well with cross country. I think they won the Atlanta County Championship and she played some basketball at Mainland and ran some track. So she was an athlete as well. <laughs> what well, what was your uh, what was your reaction as a mom when when you hear when you get that text, you know, and, and all that information comes comes out about her really uh her and another another woman who had some medical training uh, and, and this was a story reported by, um, I want to give credit here, the, the current, I believe, uh, Susan yes. Marino was the reporter. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so really cool story. Check that out, uh, shorenewstoday.com. Great story about Caitlin and uh, and what she did on that plane. Uh, I guess not really a surprise to you, knowing, knowing her, and did, did, did you think she would be the kind of person that would jump in in a situation like that? I was not surprised. When she said it was a medical, I knew exactly why she had gotten the round of applause. It was, she's a very funny girl, very entertaining. We, she has the one liners, knows when to throw the punchline. And we thought, (laughs) oh, she's joking around again. But when the story really developed, we, I knew, and she said it was medical. I knew that was why she had gotten the round of applause. So. It was pretty exciting. I'm I'm very excited for her. It was nice to have her home. And she actually, today is actually her 25th birthday. Wow. Happy and birthday to Caitlin. Monday she, yes, <laughs> and Monday she starts her new job at Cedars-Sinai in L.A. So she'll be in a medical ICU unit. So she she's very excited to start this new little challenge. Now, so I guess had, part of the story was... Um, her her original flight was not supposed to be that flight, correct? Correct. She was supposed to go back to L.A. on Monday because she would have been, um, you know, continuing her job and going to work on Tuesday. But then this new job developed, and she thought, wow, now I have a few extra days, so we extended the flight to Wednesday. And, you know, things unravel. It was kind of a <laughs> fateful trip. For in many ways, uh, what um, what was her reaction? Did, did she kind of downplay her involvement in it? 
Uh, no, not at all. I don't think she knew that she was instrumental there. I mean, she actually had seen uh, a father, I believe, carrying the daughter, and she offered her assistance. And, you know, I think she was on top of it before the me- the uh, flight crew was. <clears throat> and she said, you know, we have a medical here and we've got to get going. And they offered up her medical supplies and she kind of blew through them, digging through to see what she could do. And they, you know, were able to get an IV in the girl and sort of stabilize her. So it was, it was a proud moment <laughs> as a parent. <clears throat> I guess your your Facebook page probably blowing up this weekend. Yes. Yes. Well, that's kind of how the whole story developed because I was so proud at that moment that I actually put a little blurb on Facebook, Uh and I believe that's how Suzanne Marino actually saw the story, and one thing led to another. She interviewed Caitlin via phone, and here I am talking to you about it, (laughs) but it's nice to see a a heartwarming story instead of all the terrible things we see in the news, so... And she's just a good old local kid, you know. We're talking with uh, we're talking with Melissa Giuliano here. Her daughter Caitlin, uh, the middle daughter of the Giulianos, uh, recently saved saved the young girl's life while on a flight to Los Angeles. Uh, you know, ad- administering some medical help. She's a, a nursing student and starting a new job with an ICU unit. unit. Um, what's that like to be the mom of a hero? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Uh, you know, I, I actually haven't. It's, it's, I haven't even actually had a conversation, a full-out conversation about how it all went down and what she was thinking. I did get a message. I am sweating. <laughs> she, it was so much adrenaline growing <laughs> for her that she's like, "Oh my gosh, you know, I'm sweating." And uh, I know afterwards, when the flight got going again, I think the steward offered her a few adult beverages as they got going on that. <laughs> Extended trip to LA <laughs> to calm the nerves, but you know I never full out had a conversation with her until you know she got to LA. So it was a long it was a long day. I think she was it was like nine hours. Wow! So from from leaving home to actually landing in LA with that little diversion there. Now, how long were you on the phone with her when she got to LA? Not long. No. All she wanted to do was eat. <laughs> she just called to say she had landed and she was starving. You know, they, those airlines don't feed you much anymore. Right. <laughs> so she was off to find something to eat. So we didn't talk very long, but it was all a good, good thing. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, good you way to kick off the new, new year. Yeah, and now uh, also uh, another great way to kick off the new year. Uh, Monday night out at St. Augustine Prep, uh, the Mainland Boys Swimming Team, which is uh, currently ranked, I think, 14th in the in the state by NJ.com. They're going up against the Hermits. And uh, one of the bigger yeah. swim meets in years around here. Uh, how excited is Mike for that? Uh, we're so excited. It's always everybody, you know, that St. Augustine Mainland rival, rivalry, no matter what the sport, is a big deal. So this one's really, you know, it's our big year maybe we can come out with a win <laughs> now now he's such a laid-back kid it is and a little bit of nervous energy going on this weekend i don't really think so i think you're right i think he's a pretty laid-back guy <laughs> i think he's gonna keep it loose i'm actually preparing breakfast right now i'm gonna take over to the team for after the practice today uh you know, I think they'll just kind of chill out. They're a very good group of kids. They like to be together. So I thought, oh, the girls are over at the Hackney's this morning. So uh-huh. the boys have the pool to themselves. I thought it was a good day to bring breakfast over to the, the whole team because they like to do that. They socialize. They do things before. So it's something special. What, We're what, very excited about the meet on Monday. What's very the What's excited. the mood of the 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 team? The parents they they got to be so jazzed up for this meet on Monday and and really the whole season for Mainland coming off that great year last year. Yes, I think everybody you know it was something that they marked on their calendars. I heard about January 11th back at the start of the season. So, and then the way things have been developing with the record breaking. Every every meet, I think we've taken down a record, you know, as a team, individually. There's so many great kids, so 
But, uh, you know, it takes a whole team to win it. It's not just that first lane that's going to be important. It's going to be the B and the C lane as well. That's 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 the, the secret, I think, the depth, the depth of our team. That's If we're going to come out and win, that's the way we got to do it. Now, what was your before I let you go? What was your husband's reaction to uh, Caitlin's heroics on the plane there, uh, helping save that young girl's life? Oh, we were all the same. We had just we had a group conversation. You know, I think Allie was in the conversation. I'm, I'm not sure where Michael was at the time, and we were like, "Oh my gosh, you're a hero!" <laughs> you know, that, that's all you can say. And you know, you're thankful that she was there and it was at the right time. And I know how grateful that parent must have been because I can only imagine, you know, it had it, had it been myself in, in that plane with my younger, my kids when they were younger, I used to travel by myself with them. I can't imagine. So, you know, you're always grateful for that. Those situations and they uh, have someone there helping hands. Outstanding. Well, definitely a great story here for the South Jersey community. And, uh, Congratulations to Caitlin on her, on her quick thinking and, and quick action, and that really helped that young girl. And uh, we appreciate you coming on board, Melissa, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thanks, Dave. I'll see you Monday. You got it. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks. That was uh, Melissa Giuliano for our conversation and a really cool story. Her daughter Caitlin on a flight from uh, Philly to L.A. Uh, actually helped a young girl who was going through some uh, serious medical conditions.